And it's new month. This is the 1st of May 2018. Welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today we're going to reflect on John chapter 14, verses 27 to 31. <clears throat> peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I'm coming to you. If you loved me, would rejoice that I'm going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. The Hebrew word shalom is generally understood to mean peace, but that is only a small part of its meaning. Strong's uh, Concordance additionally defines it to be completeness, wholeness, health, welfare, safety, soundness, tranquility, prosperity, perfectness, fullness, rest, harmony, the absence of agitation or discord. Put concisely, it means to be complete, perfect, and full. Now when Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, this is what he is offering. The world cannot give lasting peace to us no matter how much we might seek it. Why? Because it is temporary at best, and it largely depends on the external situations in our lives. When there is calm, we are at peace. When there is a storm, our peace vanishes. Now you might go to Bali or some exotic place and chill at the beach for a week, experiencing great peace and the tranquility you find there, but eventually you have to return home. Ditto for sitting cross-legged in a lovely room with incense burning and soft music playing in the background. Very peaceful. But at some point, you have to leave the room. The peace that Jesus gives us, however, is something internal. It comes from an inner sense of well-being, of security, of a conviction that God is with us and in us and will take us through everything that might come our way. It is not something that even the threat of death can take away, which is why so many Christians went to their death in peace in the early days of the church. Consider Stephen, for instance. He was the first person martyred for Christ. When he was hauled before the Sanhedrin, Scripture says that his face was like the face of an angel. We need to be like that. If we aren't, perhaps we don't know Jesus as well as we think we do. So let us seek him out in prayer and in the reading of his word. And may his peace be yours. Shalom.